up everybody? Welcome to Car Works 101. I'm your host, Neil Campos. And today we're gonna that's not me, that's not me. What's up everybody? We're gonna get freaking lit on this thing. It's gonna be How did you everybody? <laughs> I'm your host, Neil Campos. And today we're no. Hello. Today we are going to be working on the XZ. We are going to be running some stuff and doing some things. No, nope, that doesn't work either. <laughs> they call me Chad. I'll freaking punch some drywall, dude. Okay, that's enough of that. Hi. Are you ready for another exciting episode of CarWorks Television? I am so excited to be your host today. So, I did a couple side jobs this weekend and uh... My garage is a mess, needless to say. So, I am going to clean the garage right now. And I don't really want to, but it needs to be done. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, out goes the exoset so I can start cleaning. So I'm gonna start working on these uh, blah, 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 these lines here, but it's still pretty flimsy, so I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna brace this from here to here. Um, but for now, I'm gonna work on getting these lines from here to here, and then from there to there. Should be fun.
there you have it. Oil cooler is all routed. Uh, there's that fabulous housing thing. And it goes here, to here, to there, to my oil cooler, which is here, which is hopefully it doesn't get a hole in it. You can't really see it now. Uh, yeah, so now I think I'm gonna work on the coolant pipe from here down here to the low radiator hose. That'll be my next mission. So I started out with a million pie cuts. I came out on a million, but it feels like a million. I burned myself about 500,000 million times, and it's not a freaking party unless you're burning yourself. <laughs> done so I tried grinding down my my welds here but it cracked so I'm just gonna let it look like dookie bud okay. so this one goes here there and it comes down and it connects the house so like this under there so working on the exo here uh, I'm trying to put this coupler on here and it <clears throat> goes on but it's right up against this so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lop this off and then just weld it on over here or weld the new bracket from here to here um, well I gotta bend this out of the way or cut this off too and this holds the fan um, so I gotta yeah and also what I noticed with this thing is there's no lip here really this is made for those plastic ones so hopefully this is not an issue of it blowing off constantly. I was thinking about welding on uh, some kind of, you know, the cup, I don't know what they're called because I never used them yet. The, the ones that are kind of like V-bands but for intercoolers. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off right now. And there we have it. So now I got clearance there, I gotta something out here with this I'll probably just weld on a, like I take this piece off of here and weld on that piece there or something <sighs> um, this isn't very pretty but it has like a weird kind of goes up but once I clamp it down it really won't be that big of a deal I'm wondering if I should bolt some no, that would um, so here's where we are with the exoset yeah. <laughs> Okay, so queso cheese. Okay, this might have to, probably gonna have to get my fat donk a donk. I know they have extensions for these, and I'm pretty sure I can uh, get that in there a little better. Okay, so I got this on, shadang. This on, whew, fatang. Look at that. I got this hose, got this coolant line done ish. I gotta put a bracket, I'm gonna weld a bracket on here so I can bolt it to here potentially bolt it somewhere else. <coughs> I got the other coolant line done. That's gonna run from the back, and then it connects to this hose. Actually gotta connect to the inner radiator there. That's pretty neat. Um, 
Oil cooler hoses are done. Oil cooler, sh sh the hoses, everything's ran for that. A fuel line. Um, I decided I have this real tight fit there, so I gotta get like a 180 for right here to go sh and loop back. I'm just gonna connect this here and then I'll get some stuff to hold the <coughs> fuel rail. Um, so yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty much where I'm at here so far. Um, still got tons to do. Still got lots to do. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do next though. I think the next thing I could do, will finish up these coolant pipes, put some brackets on them, I gotta cut them, and then, so yeah, see this is a coolant flange that's gonna be back here, that's gonna go there, well, the bolt's there. And then I'll have to plug this off. And this is gonna be, oh, coolant temperature. Uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm kind of making headway here. It's slowly but surely. I gotta weld the. I gotta weld the wastegate on. Still a lot to do. Um, people ask me how close I am. Not very close at all. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I, I think the next major thing I should do probably is make the brake lens. I need to do that. And now that I have pretty much everything ran, I guess I can. Uh, the brake line's gonna be so ugly. It's so ugly. It's this copper line over there. So this one's gonna be short. Uh, this portioning valve, but this will go to there. Easy. The other one, I'm trying to figure out how I want to run it so it's not so visible and ugly. I think I'm gonna run it over the top of the tranny or something. <sighs> not sure. It's an ugly duckling. I don't want a lot of people run it over the top here, but that's gonna be ugly as hell. I don't know. So that finishes this episode, I guess, for the day. Um, so yeah, still got 